Pick your first morale. <laughs> Look at the base. That was bad, eh? <laughs> Look at that, Mike. Take your time and lead through here.
raw, dude. Real raw. How are you doing, Mo? Mm. Can't find what? The woods? Can't find the woods? <laughs> I can't find the forest. <laughs> forest through the trees. There you go. Yeah. I'll separate them when I get home. Very good. And some of these you will yeah, turn into dye. Too old. Yes. So how many? Here, does... let me do that so we can get a picture. So let's say I'm filming just a video. Let's say you're going to make a dye. Um, how many would you collect for what size garment? I guess would be a. Well, and that's why we're taking the workshop because she'll tell you the amounts that you need, the oh, wordings that you need kind of vessel to do it in because it all depends on if it's a copper pot, an aluminum pot, a brass pot, an iron pot. Um, These are beautiful. Yep. Yeah, what a stinker. Do it. Do Just it. because they're buggy. So they're buggy. Okay. Yeah. So, really buggy. So they're going to go in the other, the other Okay. This is nice. I'm glad we came so back out here. Did you find any? Yeah, I found some. Very good. <laughs> they really do blend in. This is one There's there. times I've come to this tree and picked over a hundred. <laughs> what what kind of that. conditions for something like that? Wetter. Wetter. And this is an uh, oak tree. What kind of oak? I think it's red oak. Red oak? And I thought you said beech trees. So they're finicky like right. morels. Now this could be associated with that beech tree too. Okay. It could, yep. Because yeah. that yeah. root system. Roots are this yeah. far. Mm -hmm. But I've always found them right here. That's yeah. a big beech, yep. I wouldn't know if they didn't actually point a picture of them. Yeah, I, I just can't see them. They're almost as hard as morels for me to see. <laughs> That's a, I really feel like I need glasses. So there's one here. Those, those, those. So you just Pinch him? Yeah, you can just pinch him off. Let's see if they're... I'll do it when I get home. Okay. Another one. Yeah. You can see him on the screen. You put your hand down next to him so I can get him in the center of the screen. Very good. Now you dry these and... Oh, I always dry them. Okay. And I, they're very, very flavorful. So I use these almost like a mushroom spice where I'll use other mushrooms for the body. Yeah, and they're flavor, huh? Use these to add flavor. That was. Is that the kind that you used in your them. lasagna? No. 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 Here's some more. Did you get those? Those are the bigger ones there. Get those there. But yeah, they're beautiful, aren't they? So, black trumpets. trumpets. Yeah, a lot of them. There's some bigger ones in oh here too. Oh my goodness. And and there's a, a variety of them. Look at over look here. This beach tree. Like, oh, look at oh, right by your path. foot there, Phil. Yeah. Right to your uh, they're right. They're all on the path right there. there. Yep. Right there, Holy there, smokes. all the way back. There you go. Yeah, they're all over. Keep Jack on. Oh, this is. Pre oh, look at these. Yep, some big ones. <laughs> oh, some more. I wow, it's a, it is it is it's, it's exciting. <laughs> Choice edibles out here, mm -hmm. just waiting to be picked. Out in the path. People Nobody probably kicking them around. Have no idea. Have in life. Oh, they're so pretty. I had no idea. All right, Jack. <laughs> Jacks, he's helping. Yeah. And platter and full. Are they? One, well, I'm getting a picture of that. It's another bullet, and it's staining tan or brown. Yeah, this is this is Calopolis. Oh, it is. Yeah, this is Calopolis. Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful cluster of platterful. Sue, look at these. These are edibles. Those are? These are edibles? They're, they can be as big as a dinner plate. That's why they call okay. them platterful. And how would you prepare something like this? Saute it. Saute <laughs> it? Like, oh, yeah. Butter There's... in there. Whatever you put in there tastes good. Cutting out my leaf here. Kind of leaf into it, we don't want that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come over the top. Yep. So you can see. Now this is a bigger one. Older yeah, one. This is a bigger one. And if you look, there's like a bump where it comes out. See the bump? Yes. That's usually the tougher part. So you're going to cut right in here. Okay. And take off the fleshier part that is bendable, flexible. Okay. And it will basically rip right off. 
Now, I've heard these are a great substitute for chicken in any kind of dish. Mm -hmm. Very good. Rice, quinoa. Um, it's really good with the balsamic. Are you familiar with the varieties? This is Lytiparus sulfaris. Don't. Sulfaris. Tell you until I'm looking at a book. <laughs> All right, um, me too. You can feel. Here, feel this. Okay. You're going to feel on both sides. Pinch, and you'll feel it get right where my hands are. Oh, yeah. It gets thicker. Yeah. So you're just going to take the thinner section off. The thicker. See how wide it is? Oh, yeah. That's really not, unless you're doing a stock pot thing. We're going to leave nice. it to make more spores. Very good. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it does look well past its prime. The, the little uh, colorful one is one of the hygrosides. I'm going to guess hygroside miniatus. Umbrella polypore. Uh, that's a uh, amanita that's parasitized by hypomyces. Oh, it is parasitized. You said that yeah. is black because it's old. Okay. I thought it was maybe black it was a black mushroom. <laughs> Parisium. Growing on dead log, which is common. Oh, there's some more on the other side there. And grows down. What's the date today, baby? September 22nd, 2013. Z E R no. <laughs> yeah, no, it's X. X. Yeah, it sounds right. E-R-U-L-A. There's a slug in that. He's stealing your, your edible there. And once again, more maple too. These guys, this is a good area for him. Yeah. Yep. Look at these orange markets. 